I didn't get to film this morning, guys. I'm on the ride in, but I just wanted to give a quick intro to this video. It's just going to be a little short one about a rough startup. I got to do on a unit um, for a clean room, two units in this box. Um, they've been sitting under nitrogen charge, so I just got a vacuum leak check. And um, start them up, then get the charge in. You know, none of the controls are going to be wired yet. We're just bringing power to everything just so we can get them going. Um, they want them ready to go for when the controls are done we can start them right up and do our all our final work from then setting superheats and all that so hope you guys enjoy here's our two units guys going down to the clean room these are under a nitro charge right now i gotta put some suction transducers in these get them on a nice vacuum charged up I'm gonna be starting these up today for this clean room. Just a rough start up. We're not gonna be leaving it running or anything, but we want to go in to get them charged and all that. So that's what we're looking at. Beautiful piping job by uh, one of my co-workers. Does excellent piping. This is it. Two little guys, not bad. Hopefully everything should go nice and smooth. These are our transducers, guys. This is what I'm gonna be putting in. Plug goes into there with a little wire and harness going over here to the electrical section. So tie into all their controls downstairs so they can read suction pressures and all that. Probably gonna drill right in here, punch it right there horizontal like that. And they can get these all wired up for their controls. After that, we'll get it on a vacuum. And right, get these things started up. Here we go, we got our transducer in. All nice, ready to go. The um Controls guys, I'm coming up to wire these up in a minute. So I'm gonna start getting these on a vacuum. They're both ready to go. This side here, we got a leak somewhere. It was low on nitrogen, so I gotta look around for a leak and find that. That ought to be fun. I bet you it's inside somewhere too. But hopefully it's a nice, easy, quick one to find. But we'll find out. It's a veto there. Get your vetoes, guys. Veto standing strong. Uh, we'll be back at you in a little bit. You know how it turns out. I don't know if you can see, but I got a leak here, guys. Right there. It's around the back here. You saw that bubble in there. So this is gonna suck. This wasn't put in very well. You can see the saw is a mess. So, gotta try to fix that. That's what's leaking on our left evaporator here. This is the box here. <clears throat> All stainless steel, got a humidifier in there. That's what we're going to be giving a rough start up to today, but got to get this valve repaired first from that leak. So hopefully we get it on the first try. Let's see if you guys can see this in my mirror here. It's right up in the back. Pain in the ass. Right up in there. If you look in the mirror, can't really get it too well, but won't focus but it's up in there so get the sort of this up hopefully we get it in the first try get it cleaned up nice so the stuff will stick well i got the leak boys it's not the prettiest thing but we fixed it nothing's bubbling nothing's leaking anymore so now i go back to continue to doing what we were doing get this back on a vacuum and get this thing ready to go right side's been on a vacuum for a while so can start this one up. We got two separate systems in here, so redundant systems. You know, one on, one off. This is going to be in a lab setting, so they can't have anything down. If one side goes down, we got to have the other side running. So that's how this is going to be. All right. Well, I'm up here. I got everything back, you guys. Everything is running. Um. I couldn't really film that part. I was up here with electricians and whatnot and everything. Um, if you wonder why these condenser fans aren't on, they're on a fan cycle control. Um, there they go now. Got to keep it warm because there's a hot gas line in here. These things are going to be running four degrees Celsius, and they got to have a hot gas line going in to keep a constant temp in there. When it goes down, say, below 4, like 3.8, 3.7, and starts kicking in the hot gas and metering it in. So we stay within, like, you know, a half, half to a quarter of a degree of our set point. It's science, 
uh, labs and clean rooms going to be right on. Now if we control them with this, it's actually just pull an electronic expansion valve, but we use it for hot gas as well. Um, and with these, you put them in backwards. You come out of your discharge line and you put them in backwards, opposite of the arrow to go down. Don't ask me why, but that's what Spoiling says you gotta do. And um, so that's what we do, and everything's always worked well. And they're gonna be controlled by this little board here. You can see that too well. That's all gonna go down to the control panel downstairs, so when it calls for hot gas, it's gonna meter that valve open and close very slightly. And allow for the hot gas to maintain a constant temp in these. But, just a rough start up for now, we just wanted to make sure they're running, I got my charge in, and that's it. I'm not leaving these running, I'll be back to do a final start up with all my checkouts after everything's calibrated and fill out my uh, forms and all that. But I figured I'd show you what went on today, something different. Um, I do a lot of these startups on a new install, a lot of clean rooms and science labs, a lot of work with this stuff. But um, anyways, as always guys, like and subscribe if you want, and uh, thanks for watching. Just to follow up on that job, guys, uh, I'm going to be going back, I think, probably maybe the end of next week or in a couple weeks to do the final startup on that. i got to wait for um, all the controls to get done and some software downloaded for these controls or something. It's all fancy pants stuff in here. So once we do that, um, we'll get it all running. I'll get my super heat set and all that stuff. We, um, today was just to get the nitro out of them, get them leak checked. <clears throat> get them vacuum and charge, make sure everything runs, the solenoids are operational in those hot gas valves. So, this video may uh, be continual. I'll show you the final product when it's done, if I'm able to film that day. But I hope everyone has a good weekend. Uh, I'm going on call this weekend, so we'll see what that brings. Uh, if it brings uh, anything interesting, I'll try to get some footage of it for you guys. But, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.